Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for February 11th, 2021. Yesterday, we had a little bit of excitement. We were going along as if nothing was happening, um, that everything was copacetic, and all of a sudden, we had an interesting little attack by the bears. Let's look, take a look at a 15 minute chart here. Here's a picture of the Dow on the 15 minute. We gapped up and struggled a little bit and then bang, we had a big strong sell off here all of a sudden. And it looked like we were risking some breakdown. The bulls rushed back in, held on to it, and then we created a little bit more volatility right into the close of the day. Kind of an interesting day, and it left behind a bit of a concern here on the chart. Nothing major, but something we'll want to pay attention to. So first off, let's take a look at some of the price action in here, and we'll take a look at some technicals. As you take a look here, our trend remains bullish. We continue to hold in this trend and we are holding well above a support level in the chart. But notice yesterday, we very, very quickly came in to take a quick uh, look at that support level um, in the chart here on the diamonds. And we left behind a pattern here that's called a hanging man pattern. When we approach a top like this, and I'm not saying this is a top, but as we stretch out and reach up here, um, candle patterns like that can leave a bit of a concern. That is actually a potential topping pattern that come, could come into play. Now, the question is, will it follow through today? So here's our, here's our situation. We have a bit of a topping pattern. This topping pattern would suggest the possibility of a little bit more downside. However, candlestick patterns are very, very short term in nature. And if there is no follow through to the downside, then that, that hammer pattern doesn't mean much. Unless we end up adding a combination of topping type patterns, then that could raise some concern. But one thing yesterday did do is it reminded us that bears Although they seem to be in hibernation, as we stretch and stretch and stretch these indexes higher, how quickly they can come in for an attack. And so far the bulls have been able to defend and hold that off. But as this retail frenzy continues to extend this market up, we're going to have to stay on our toes and watch carefully for those. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if we see more of those kind of whipsaw price action intraday moves as um, there's a fight going on here whether or not we should be pushing this high or not. So watch that closely. Right now, if we take a look at the technicals, our technicals are in good shape here. Um, we had that successful test of the 50 day moving average, but I will say that um, overall we may be getting a bit extended here in the short term. We're, we're again just rushing, rushing, rushing in. And if we were to take a look at the, the Dow itself and just realize one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight days, nine days ago, um, how far we have rallied from our low here to where we ended up closing yesterday, we ended uh, we're up 1561 points in that period of time. So it's easy to forget um, just how quickly we could sell off if those bears decide to attack. But right now the 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 frenzy in the market is is um, all based on the hope and the hype of another stimulus check coming. And you know, I think we're going, I mean, it seems fairly obvious that that's on the way and it's coming and we could see this market remain elevated like this as we wait for that just that anticipation of that big stimulus um, spending um, coming out to the public so watch that closely but always be on guard for that potential that we could stumble and slip pretty fast and we may have something today that could create a little bit of a stumble we'll talk about that in just a second let's take a look at the spy spy we continue to hold this upside trend everything looks copacetic here we're in pretty good shape we are pretty darn extended in the short term on this chart and once again yesterday we left behind a little bit of a concerning pattern a bit of a 
um, hanging man type pattern, almost what, what you could call a dark cloud cover pattern in the chart. And once again, that's going to require follow through for that to play out. We need follow through to the downside if that's going to play out. If we push on up, then it really means nothing um, unless once again, we put in a combination of topping candle patterns. We'll just want to watch that pretty carefully. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the QQQ seemed to have a little bit of a struggle yesterday. Um, big Tech was um, showing a little bit of signs of weariness yesterday. And not a big surprise. We've extended um, the tech sector um, really, really hard. It seems like every time the market fluctuates here a little bit, we rush back into those giant techs to lift the market back up. So kind of an interesting situation here, but you can see we're holding above support levels. We did get a pretty solid test of that yesterday, just all of a sudden, and um, ended up holding in here. But once again, leaving behind a bit of a concerning pattern here on that candle. It may not mean anything, but we want to stay on our toes and be pretty focused in on price action. Just be prepared for that possibility if those bears decide to attack. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM um, continues to hold up very, very strong, and we saw um, oil sector report yesterday uh, providing some assistance to that with a decline in supplies but notice we left behind on that uh, chart we left behind a bearish engulfing candle now once again that bearish engulfing candle does not really necessarily mean anything if there is no follow through to the downside however if there is follow through to the downside we might want to watch for that possibility of a pullback in here to test some price support. So keep an eye on that today. If the bulls defend and push us on through and there'd be every reason at this point in time to, to believe that they certainly could, um, but let's keep a close eye on that just in case we get that that attack coming in this morning. Um, watch that close. Then let's take a look at our um, um, VIX. Boy, our VIX had a little bit of a wild ride yesterday with that attack. And you can see we were trying to break down, trying to break down through some support here in the chart, but we shot up, leaving behind just this uncertain pattern here, um, kind of a long-legged doji in here, just an uncertain pattern on the VIX and really no clues as to um, whether or not we're going to break that support or not. Volatility remains relatively high and you can see just how quickly we can zoom up in that volatility in, in a market like this. We can zoom up here really, really quick and boy, I'm guessing a lot of traders kind of had a few um, palpitations and um, there was some quickening of the pulse yesterday as we bounced around so violently there for a little bit. So watch that closely in the um, in case, just in case. There's nothing here that says bearishness just yet, but there is some warning signs or some concerns. So just stay on your toes. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 indicator continues to show us an overbought condition. Um, as a matter of fact, we're getting into an, an extreme. We had that little bobble in the market yesterday and once again, we're trying to press the pre-market higher. So we're pretty close to being priced to perfection in here, showing that we have maybe we may have stretched this, this re little frenzy of buying. We may be stretching this, um, these indexes to a uh, breaking point. So watch that closely, just in case those bears do decide to attack. We have a pretty big open hole here that we could drop down into if, um, if they really decide to get feisty. So watch that closely and just be prepared. It, may, it This doesn't necessarily mean that we have to sell off. It means that we need to be very vigilant and really be watching the price action of the charts and be prepared to take profits in case that slip does occur. Let's take a look at T2101. Now T21, whoops. 
2201 is our market breadth indicator. And I've been showing or talking about concerns here as we continue to rally that that market breadth um, was struggling and we're up here and we're trying to break through this resistance here in the chart um, on that market breadth. Now, one of the things that's starting to crop up in concern is that um, we've got a bit of over exuberance going on here in the market in that market breadth and everyone rushing into the market as quickly as they can not wanting to miss out now we have to be careful with that because once that last dollar is in and I don't know when that's going to be it could be weeks from now it could be months who knows how far away that is but once that last dollar is in the music kind of stops and all of a sudden everybody's looking around for a chair there may not be one so watch that closely as we continue to see this kind of this frenzy going on of hurry up hurry up and buy something because we're missing out so watch that carefully let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today in our economic calendar um, we have a little bit going on here that we're going to want to pay attention to not that anybody seems to have cared here for a while about jobs but we do know we had a jerome powell yesterday um, out speaking treasuries have pulled back a little bit as a result of his speech where he was painting kind of a gloomy picture for the market and saying that the u.s is a long way um, from repairing um, its unemployment situation here in the market. The market itself has ignored that. We don't seem to care about jobs anymore as long as we continue um, to print money, as long as the government's willing to continue to print debt and dole out money, jobs don't seem to matter. But I'll tell you, what Jerome Powell was saying yesterday is pointing to the fact that the market is extremely elevated with zero concern about jobs and zero concern about the actual state of the economy. That raises some danger level in the market. So watch that closely. Now, as we report this this morning, um, I think consensus right now is suggesting that we may see a little tiny increase in those jobless claims. Should it surprise a little bit, we could have some market fluctuation. So be prepared for some price volatility, but I don't know that it's going to be bad because once again, we're really focused on that stimulus and what's happening in the economy really doesn't seem to matter, at least at the moment. It may suddenly start to matter, so be prepared. And then we have a natural gas report and a Fed balance sheet. Again, I don't think anybody cares about those. Fed balance sheet is unprecedented uh, debt, and but again, nobody cares. So watch that close. And then remember tomorrow as you plan forward into Friday and remember the three-day weekend coming, we have consumer sentiment and a couple more Fed speakers to be made aware of on Friday. On the earnings calendar today, Thursday is typically one of our biggest earnings days during an earnings season, and that is true today. We have over 120 companies reporting earnings today. And if we take a look at some of those notables, and by the way, there's no way I can cover all of these notables today in the video. So make sure if you want to see all of those, click that link that's just below the title of this video. It'll send you back to the morning blog where I have posted some of those notables. I'll go through these kind of quickly um, this morning um, because there is so many of them um, to give you a little bit of a flavor of what's out there. Take a look um, AEM. AEM will be reporting today. Um, gold has been struggling very, very hard. That's been putting lots of pressure, excuse me, lots of pressure on um, these gold miners. You can see still running in a downtrend here, so that earnings report could be um, rather important today. Um, we have AB. AB on the list today. Keep an eye on that. AB has in, been in a beautiful upside trend. A little bit of volatility in that price action, but you can see holding up very, very well overall. Um, we're going to see AZN. AZN reporting today. Whoops. Got to clear that off. 
AZN reporting today. Now, um, obviously, this drug maker has um, struggled here just a little bit, um, running in a downtrend. We're trying to catch some price support in this chart. It'll be interesting to see how that reports, uh, whether or not it starts to turn things around. How about BAM? BAM is on the list today. Looks like it is challenging some price resistance highs in the chart. Had a little bit of pop up this morning in the pre market and now pulling back, but we're still holding on to that trend. So, watch that one closely we're going to see um, a report from pepsico actually we saw the report from pepsico this morning and a little bit of just kind of a blah um, response to that today notice that pepsico has been in a downtrend showing a little bit of stress here on that chart so watch close um, flo flo will be reporting today Package foods, we would think that during coronavirus, these would be doing a lot better um, than it is, or this company would be doing a lot better than it is. But you can see struggling in here with some resistance above. We've got a little bit of a rally going on on the short term, but um, it'll be interesting to see how that responds out of its earnings report. How about Go Jet Daddy? GoDaddy is on the list today. Big zooming move up heading into earnings. Um, watch that closely as it reports. ILMN on the list. Also beautiful upside trend here. Um, looking like it could potentially extend if we have a good earnings report. We have KHC, Kraft Heinz, reporting today. It looks like we're getting a nice bullish move here this morning on Kraft Heinz, but notice that we're just challenging a downtrend here. So we've got this wedging pattern, almost a giant uh, pennant type pattern. We'll have to see if that can break through and then show some upside here in KHC. So there's a few of those stocks that you might want to be watching. There are quite a few more. We have TAP, we have Pool, we have Tyson. Um, kind of keep an eye on those. And once again, make sure you check um, back on that blog if you want to catch the full list of those charts. Let's take a look at um, some charts that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you feel like the video was worthy, if you feel you got something out of this and it helped you prepare for the day, please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps us continue to grow. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who does do that. And please, please share this video out there on your social media platforms. It helps the channel continue to grow. Um, thank you so much for everyone that does that. You guys are awesome. Truly, truly appreciate it. Um, let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. Um, there are some concerns in some of these stocks because of that volatility yesterday, but let's take a look. You guys know that I have been paying attention here to Solo. Watching that Solo move, we have a nice little trend here in this chart, and we are consolidating that move over to trend. It looked like a couple of days ago we were going to pop and go, but not quite there yet. So watch this as we kind of drift out here on this trend. And notice we could drift out here several more days yet, drift out here and then still get that pop. So keep solo on your list, watch that closely. It's trying to hang in there and looking pretty good. Um, take a look at energy. Now energy has been pretty stretched out and yesterday's oil sector numbers continue to show um, that there's decline in supply. So let's keep an eye on this. As you can see, we've had some considerable price volatility. And what we're doing is we're up here testing some resistance levels in the chart. Now I want you to note, I'm gonna pull this back to a, a longer term chart. Notice that we are approaching a big downtrend um, in that chart. So we're gonna to wanna to pay attention to that as we approach it, but I think there is still some upside opportunity in some of these charts. So keep a close eye on those energy sector stocks looking pretty good. One in particular that I um, mentioned yesterday was uh, Devon Energy, DVN. Now, unfortunately, 
there we go. Unfortunately, Devin is going to be reporting here in just a few days, but we have a nice little pattern here on this chart. Notice that we have broken that downtrend in Devon and we're showing that bullishness. We're rallying up toward that earnings event. We're going to be pushing some resistance. And I got to tell you, if you go to a longer term chart on Devon, that's a pretty long term chart holding that downtrend to support showing lots of bullishness there. So we're starting to see some of those energy stocks turn back around and look pretty good. So keep a close eye on that. If those continue to perk up, could show you some, um, some good returns in those stocks. Take a look at some of the oil um, related stocks as far as drilling. If, as oil prices come back up, we're going to see those drillers and um, refiners doing pretty well. And you can see rig pushing up here in this upside trend. I'd placed an alert. We popped that alert, but we're just kind of consolidating that move over here. As you can see, what we seem to be doing is just being really challenged by this resistance level in the chart, but there's no sellers here yet. So if those sellers continue to hang on, if they continue to hold in here, then we still have that opportunity that we could build enough energy and pop on through there on rig. So watch that one closely, rather low price stock for those of you that have smaller accounts could be a nice opportunity um, on the higher side of things take a look at Valero Valero has been consolidating after breaking through a pretty substantial level of price resistance here in the chart notice that we have broken this longer term downtrend so um, as fuel prices continue to rise and demand for fuel seems to be moving up, um, national supplies continue to be dropping just a little bit, we're going to see refining get more and more important. So kind of take a look at this. We're consolidating this move after breaking through resistance. We may shift or even pull back toward this trend, but watch for that next opportunity in that chart. Um, so many stocks right now, we are um, very, very extended um, in the short term. We, they just stretched out big time. But there are these stocks like Intel that are showing some pretty darn good signs. Take a look here. We have broken through a major resistance level in Intel. Now, even though this is a ugly, ugly chart in price action with these candles, the way they're whipping around in here. What I do like about Intel at this point is that we've rallied up above that resistance and now we're just kind of resting. We're kind of taking that beat. We're, we're slowing down on this volatility. And as we consolidate across here, if we hold that level and move into this trend, watch for that opportunity, maybe for that to perk on through and fire up to the upside. So keep an eye on Intel. Um, some of the old boring type stocks if you look at them on a longer term pattern notice that they've broken those downtrends and we're starting to show that bullishness in here in the chart particularly if you look at a longer term a weekly chart really starting to improve so you might want to keep an eye on some of these old boring stocks as they start to perk up that could be one of the little indicators of the market showing a little bit of stress as we stretch out people looking for some dividend yield in the chart. So we may be seeing a shift toward those kind of issues. Last but not least, I'm going to um, show you NNDM. Now, NNDM, I have uh, a bit of a bias on this. I'm in this chart. This has been bouncing around, had kind of a nasty little pullback yesterday, but still trying to hold above that breakout. And we still have that trend in our favor here. Let's watch this, see if this can get moving to the upside and perk on through. Watch it closely, though. It it, it is running so close to its trend, we could also see that failure occur at any time. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best. I want to wish you a fantastic day of trading. Be safe out there. Be careful. Stay on your toes. And remember, guys, we cannot be profitable or consistently profitable traders if we don't take profits consistently. In a market like this, when we run up, it's a wise idea to grab some of those gains and and um, put them in your account because we we saw yesterday how quickly things can reverse and all of that money can go away. So take care and be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.